Welcome to Top Crew Aviation. This is Captain P. K. Yadav. Hello, guys. Uh, today we would discuss about uh, ATIS. What is ATIS? As uh, we have discussed uh, about uh, the basic thing, what is ATIS, and uh, why do we use this, and what are the information contains uh, in ATIS broadcast. And we are also using uh, ATIS like Info Bravo while we are taking taxi instructions, and uh, we would use it in some other calls too. Now, nowadays many airports also employ the use of data link ATIS, guys. That is called DATIS. We also say this digital ATIS, guys. So what is this uh, and uh, what is the difference between uh, both of them? Why we all guys uh, are preferring this uh, DATIS? So we would uh, understand so that we can differentiate in both the services and why we are using this now. So let's have a look guys. So we have discussed about ATIS. Let's have a discussion about DATIS and uh, why it is effective than ATIS. We would discuss that too. So DATIS is a text based guys, digitally transmitted version of the ATIS audio broadcast. ATIS is audio broadcast guys. DATIS is text based. It is accessed via data link service such as ACARS. What is ACARS guys? Aircraft communication addressing and reporting system as name suggests. I will not explain much more about ACARS. We will cover in details in navigation classes guys. and displayed on an electronic display in the aircraft. So no need to listen and uh, we'll discuss what are the benefits. Datis is incorporated on the aircraft as part of its electronic system such as FMS. Again guys, what is FMS? Flight management system. We will cover in navigation in details. Datis may be incorporated into the core ATIS system or be realized as, as a separate system with a data interface between voice ATIS and Datis. Now we will discuss what are the benefits. It can be, so as we all know now, Datis can be incorporated with the ATIS system or it could be separate. Now, definitely we are getting data as digitally as we all are living in digital India. I mean, digital means something which is updated, which we have never used till now. So what are the benefits? Guys, first of all, it reduces pilot's workload because data information is now available for the pilot in a printed format. So no need to listen to it is without having to listen to the frequency and write down the entire information as pilots are also human they may do the error while uh, writing down normally we do not do this guys but yes one person we can make mistakes while writing or listening because you listen and write right but over here you are getting printed uh, definitely much more relief all right much more relaxed need not to type anything you have printed you just need to read it out and improved reliability guys okay the data link service eliminates the potential misunderstandings due to the poor quality of VHF voice sometimes this is not the mistake of pilots you do not get clear voice maybe you misunderstood anything and uh, because of that guys it can be blunder so it's better definitely by listening and writing if you get something printed it is always better guys now enhanced accessibility how because data information is available worldwide guys okay outside data link vhf hf coverage the information can be accessed via satellite data link guys now improved ATIS information accuracy how the voice ATIS message can be updated more frequently and the update contract of the data link service enables the pilots to receive the ATIS information each time it is updated guys. So now we all know we are aware about ATIS and uh, we are aware about DATIS. So I would like to quick recap guys uh, why do we use this and uh, as we all are aware 
wherever we are mentioning info in our transmission call while transmitting guys so now i'm sure you guys are aware while we are mentioning that info and uh, we practiced one question uh, while we were taking a startup all right guys so at that point of time like uh, there was a delay that was more than 30 minutes and we updated the info so now we all know why we updated info and uh, info means uh, um, some set of information that is uh, being broadcast uh, like uh, on a specific frequency that is your ATIS and uh, ATIS contains so many information we have discussed related to the weather, related to the operations and uh, related to the temperature and all and any other information which is uh, essential for operations guys. Now the updated version is uh, DATIS. So in India also we are using uh, DATIS at almost airports. So wherever DATIS is not available, we still follow the ATIS and uh, we set the frequency and we listen. We listen out the ATIS broadcast and uh, follow the instructions guys. So we all know now and what is ATIS, uh, what kind of information available in ATIS and why do we need ATIS. And what are the benefits of ATIS and why we are using DATIS in place of uh, ATIS guys. So I hope uh, this is uh, clear guys now in case uh, in part 2 if uh, your examiner is going to ask you about ATIS or DATIS you are going to tell them in details. So that was it guys about ATIS and DATIS. And uh, watch this video at least twice or thrice so that uh, you can uh, get download uh, this information in your head. In case of anything guys, I'm here to help you and uh, in case of any confusion, I'm here to help you. In case of any query, get back to me. I'm here to help you guys. So that's it for ATIS and DATIS. See you soon. Take care guys. Bye bye. Here you go. Your checklist. Like subscribe and share thank you for watching